Republican Senator Scott Sales and Republican Representative-elect Art Wittage, both from Bozeman, are two of the four lawmakers proposing an increased speed limit on Montana interstates. I spoke with Senator Sales about why he's behind this bill. It's the only thing I'm concerned with is the interstate, and they're designed for high speed. Sales says he spent seven months working in the Bakken, and the time it took driving back and forth would be cut by an hour every round trip if the speed limit was higher. We live in a big rural state, and if you're driven all the way from, you know, basically Sydney to Bozeman, uh, you know, obviously that's not all interstate, but the majority of it is. It's, it's a big, long haul, and, uh, you know, every mile an hour makes a little bit of difference when you get, get to your destination. But what about safety? We called Montana Highway Patrol. They would not comment on the proposal because it is too early and there is not enough information about the bill. They do admit the higher speed equals less reaction time. And according to AAA, safety is the number one priority. One death on the highway is one too many. Uh, the, any uh, type of speed limit that will promote safety, mobility, and respect for the law is something that we, we would support. Just because the speed limit is 85 doesn't mean, or 75, means that you should be driving that speed limit. Uh, I think it's incumbent upon the citizens to drive what the uh, you know, conditions are, are, will tolerate. Do you believe that average, you know, the average citizen will do that? They did under the reasonable and prudent. Yeah, they did. Sales is referring to when Montana roads had no numerical speed limit and signs suggested a reasonable and prudent speed. Now, currently in Utah, Wyoming, and Idaho, speed limits are 80. Texas on its own at 85 miles per hour. We will be following this bill closely as it moves through session in Bozeman. Brooke Boone, MTN News.